Lisa here. So I've got a mini book haul for you today, which is a few books that I've acquired over this month. Let's get straight to it. Okay, so Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. So this one is absolutely brilliant. I've already read it. Essentially, it's about an illness that's spreading through the kingdom. Um, unfortunately, there is a cure, but it's only the rich that can afford it. So the main characters are Tessa and Weston, and they are outlaws. And during the night, they steal from the rich to give to the poor. So food, cure... Um, it's really good. Um, I've already done a review on this one on my blog, so I'll pop the link down below if you want to check that out. But if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend this one. Brilliant read. The next one is 13 Minutes. I don't know too much about this book. I haven't read it yet. It's 13 Minutes by Sarah Pimbra. So as far as I'm aware, the main character is called Tasha, and um, she's dead for 13 minutes. So she gets pulled out of a lake. Um... I think they either think it was an accident or if she's suicidal, but she thinks that one of her friends tried to kill her. So it's a psychological thriller. It sounds really, really good. And yeah, watch this space. The next one I've got is another one that I don't know much about. And honestly, I bought it for the cover. Um, it's called The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. As far as I'm aware, it's about a girl called Ava who um, was born with the wings of a bird. Um, which sounds really interesting. I really don't know much more than that. It's it's not very long at all, less than 300 pages. So it won't take me long to read and probably will be one of my next three. So watch this space for that one. And the last book I've got for you today is called Gallant by V.E. Schwab. This one was an advanced reading copy that was sent to me from Titan Books. So thank you for that. Um, I'm about halfway through. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's about a girl called o Olivia. And she grew up in a girl in a school for girls. Um, she receives a mysterious letter from her uncle inviting her back to the family home called Gallant, um, where there's a lot of mysterious goings on. Olivia can see ghouls, which is really interesting, um, and a lot of it centres around the journal of her her mother. So, yeah, really, really good. Um, it won't be long until my review's up for this one. So, that's it. So, yeah, not much more to add today. So, yeah, thanks for listening. And I'll see you later.